podcast. I'll be here tomorrow and eventually there will be enough tomorrows and it will add up to whatever it ends up adding up to. And for me, that means that my fear levels are significantly lower. It doesn't mean I'm not triggered. It doesn't mean I don't still experience scansiety, that I don't still feel that level of stress around scans and wanting to know, am I still stable? Am I still okay? But I would, I would put my fear now, maybe at like a two or a three yeah. right now. And I'm a week out from scans and I don't feel horribly worried and stressed that I'm going to have scans. I feel like, I feel like fear doesn't run. It doesn't run the show anymore. If that makes sense. Okay. Danae, I had my numbers backwards. Oh. I think I said my fear was at nine <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. I was like, are you okay, sure? Okay. I, no, no. Okay. So, so let's just, let's just go like this. It's no, it's, it's a two or it's a, three. At a one or a two. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a 10. Now it's a t- yeah, like a one or a two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Glad yeah. we clarified that. Hannah, what about you? Oh, you're muted. There you go. You, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say that it ebbs and flows very similar to what you were saying uh, around scan time. It definitely goes up and then, you know, like life is happening in between and yes, you're paying attention to it, but it probably runs around like a three or a four consistently. But one thing I'll add is I think we've all been in the unique situation where not, not everybody in this world.